Glad to have you with us here once again on Cyberbit Range as we showcase MITRE ATT&CK techniques. In each video, we'll choose a tactic and showcase several techniques, simulating them on Cyberbit Range so you can experience techniques just like an analyst would in real life. This will allow you to take action much faster during an actual event. Cyberbit Range provides a virtual SOC experience immersing cyber professionals in live attacks across the entire cyber attack lifecycle in a complete corporate grade virtual network. This gives us the power to showcase the attacks you're going to see today. Today we'll focus on two different MITRE persistence techniques. We'll start with the scheduled task, CRON. Let's jump into Cyberbit Range to check out a simulated attack on an Apache server. Here you can see the Apache server is down, making your company's website inaccessible, and you have been tasked with restoring the Apache service based on an IT ticket. You try to restore Apache service by restarting the server and turning the service back on. After you try turning the service back on, everything looked promising for a minute. This kind of repetitive behavior raised a red flag. There may be a scheduled task shutting down the Apache service over and over again. As you can see in this simulation, you begin by listing all scheduled tasks that are currently running. The second line indicates that the command to stop the Apache service is being executed once every 60 seconds. Surprisingly, we find another scheduled task to execute an unknown bash script. Let's investigate the bash file. Once inside, you see that the bash is copying and extracting passwords and shadow files. When the attacker is done and the files are in their new directory, the script then executes another Python script that encodes these files to Base64 and uploads them to the attacker's command and control server. The attacker is maintaining persistence by sending the passwords and shadow files every minute. This basically ensures that he can log in even when the password is changed. You are investigating a known infected station as your incident has indicated unwanted outgoing traffic and connections from this station. It's your duty to uncover how this traffic is continually leaving the network without authorization. Let's jump onto Cyberbit Range to see how this scenario plays out. You begin your investigation by opening the Process Explorer to further analyze the infected station's processes. After about 10 seconds, you'll notice a process under the Windows Management section of your process strings, which is repeatedly shutting down and restarting, called SCR cons. This activity indicates scripting via WMI event subscription. So open WMI Explorer to analyze which script is being executed. Refresh instances to find that a script is indeed being used, just as we suspected. The script itself will define a scheduled task that runs the script, executing whatever command it maintains. The script itself may only run once each time, but due to the scheduled task inside Windows Event Viewer, it will keep on running over and over again, passing systems data back to the attack server or performing some other task every time the WMI event runs. So, two major MITRE persistence tactics down. Stay tuned for more Cyberbit Range videos to increase your ability to identify attacker behaviors.